how are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and today I am doing my October empties. Quite a good month for empties guys. Considering I didn't wear much of makeup, I have a few makeup items finished. But also, a lot of skincare. Got through a lot of skincare in the last month. A lot of stuff was on his last leg, so you know that's to be expected. Sorry, my eyes are weeping, that's why I have no eyeshadow on my bottom lashes. It is what it is. We're just gonna... We're just going to roll with it. It's all good. Um, so I'm going to start off with hair care, then body care, skin care, and then finish up with makeup because it's everybody's favorite and I'm trying to keep you. <laughs> so let's go. There isn't much in the, in the shampoo line or in the hair care line. I have my Alpha Parth Milano uh, Nutritive Low Shampoo. Um, so it's for moisture for dry hair, which I do have. I picked this up at my... Um, hairdressers which I haven't been to in quite some time and I need to get the growing done growing giggles hair in Irish but yeah anyway shampoo I like it um I feel like I'm ready to try something different maybe I don't know we shall see uh, a little sample this is the we dad I'm not sure coil infusion gentle clarifying shampoo perfect for tighter curls and coils so not specifically for my kind of hair but it really was clarifying my hair was squeaky clean after it which was a nice feeling but I don't know if it's very good for color to have your hair that squeaky clean I feel like it might be a tad stripping I'm not sure but either way it was nice but I, it wouldn't encourage me to purchase it this one I will purchase. This is the Way Leave-In Conditioner. I really enjoyed this. I had an oil as well that I didn't enjoy, but this I definitely did enjoy. And I look at um, buying the bigger size when it comes to sale time. Uh, I won't pay full whack for it. I'm not crazy, but um, I'll keep an eye out for the sales and see if I can get it at a bit of a discount because I really did like it. My hair seemed to like it. It felt nice after using it. So, yeah, liked that one. So, boring one, but you know, a necessity. This is the Kin B5 mouthwash. So the reason I specifically go for this one, it's a dear one, but because I suffer so badly. So, okay, I've had an abscess. If you didn't see recent um, videos of that, I've had an abscess in my tooth. It's the second one I've had this year in a different tooth. So one here and one here. And I have a lot of teeth problems. Some of it is to do with sinuses. So my top teeth can be very sore due to my sinuses. But the other reason is because I take a lot of medication for depression and anxiety and pain and things like that. And I'm not sure which one, but it's causing horrendous dry mouth. And that in turn is causing an issue in that bacteria thrive in a dry mouth. So at night specifically, so I feel like I know which one it is. Um, my mouth is like... I'm after eating cotton wool you know what I mean I'm literally drinking water until I fall asleep because it's just my mouth is just so dry and I wash I floss I rinse I do all the things you know all you know three times a day but this is still happening so the reason I use this mouthwash is because number one it's alcohol free and alcohol in mouthwash there's a lot of alcohol in mouthwash in a lot of mouthwashes uh, and that dries out your mouth because alcohol that's what it does it dries out um and this is supposed to help keep your mouth hydrated or lubricated or whatever it is. And it's a nice one, but it's expensive, but I have to do it. Um, so that one is empty. A lot of waffling there about teeth, but there you go. That's the kind of content you're here for. <laughs> uh, Dove Go Fresh Cucumber and Green Tea Scent. Didn't enjoy it. Don't like the scent. Don't feel like it is keeping my natural odour <laughs> at bay. But um, mm, yeah. I don't know. I was reading. Tangent again. Perimenopausal. I was reading about that your body odour can change um, with being perimenopausal and you produce more odour as a result of it. So I don't know because like that was always a, a firm favour for me. So maybe I need to switch things up a bit. No, no, no. Uh, Better You Body Lotion. This is the magnesium one for sleep. I have awful restless legs. Yeah, I know. I have a shit ton of stuff going on. But there you go. Um, and magnesium is supposed to help. I take it orally, but I also take it, use it, and this. My husband, God bless him, and massages it into my calves every night. Usually there's two weeks of the month where it's particularly worse for some reason. It's obviously cyclical. Um, but he massages it into my calves for me. And the smell is, is pleasant. It's lavender, and it does kind of help with the sleeping situation. 
Um, next up is Bondi Sands Aero Aerated Self Tanning Foam One Hour Express. Um, I've come to the conclusion that this is not the tan for me. Not the brand, love the brand. Um, but one hour tanning, anything, and I said this about conditioners and another thing, anything that I have to go into the shower, wash myself, come out, put something on, leave it for a few hours or whatever, back into the shower, it's not happening. Once a day I'm getting into that shower, you're not getting me in twice, it's just not happening. And even overnight, um, what I find with tan when I put it on overnight, tan like this, my skin feels so cold, I can never warm up whatever is in it. Odd, I know, but that's me. I'm odd. Um, so gradual tanner, that's my preferred. I don't like to look tangled anyway. I prefer to just look like I have a healthy tan. Um, so gradual tanner is the way for me. So I use the Bondi Sands gradual tan and I love it. But this, no, I won't be repurchasing. I've used it, it's grand, it's gone, lovely. Now onto skincare. So the first one is the Inky List. I cut it open, so I'll just try and put it back together for a second. This is the Omega Water Cream. I'm not enjoying this packaging from Inky List. Um, I've had to cut any of these kind of ones open and there's a ton of product left. Very hard to get it out, not a fan. Um, lightweight and hydrating, it is definitely lightweight. Wasn't a favorite, I have to be honest. And I have another one and I will use it, but I think after that, I don't think it's something I would purchase. I thought it would be nice in the summertime because I like a lighter moisture during the day. Um, but it felt a bit silicone maybe or something, I don't know. I didn't love it, but I will use up the other one. Um, but yeah, wasn't wasn't a favorite. I still prefer their peptide moisturizer. That's my favorite of theirs. Uh, Liqueura, which is Aldi or Little, never remember. Multi peptide moisturizer. This is it here. Gorgeous packaging. I mean, just like they went all out and duped the shite out of um, drunk elephant. So I do love the packaging. I try. I usually repurpose these because they're, they're great. Um, wasn't a mad keen on the moisturizer itself. Uh, it was very thin. It was more like the water cream than what I would expect from a multi-peptide moisturizer. I expect a bit more heft to it, a bit more cream than a lotion, if that makes sense. Um, so if it comes back in, I wouldn't be bothered purchasing it, but I really like the packaging. But it is used up. Uh, the Ritual of Namaste, uh, Ageless Active Firming Night Cream, didn't like it, it was very heavily scented for me, so I used it on my kind of décolleté kind of area instead, so that is done. I have two little um, confidence in a cream from It Cosmetics, uh, two lovely little tubs here, completely empty, and uh, this was nice enough. Um, it was nice enough, but not worth the price tag, in my opinion. You know, it cosmetics are quite pricey. Um, and their skincare in particular, and I mean, these were scented, but it was a nice thick formula. Nice night cream. This is what I, I use them as a night cream. Um, if it was on sale, considerably, like 50% off kind of sale, I would consider it. Um, but I wouldn't pay full whack for it. So... Take what that as you will. Um, oh, don't fall over, guys. Stay standing. Thank you. Uh, another empty is the Ordinary AHA 30%, BHA 2% Peeling Solution. This is the third one of these I have gone through. There's, it looks like there's a bit left, but it's not really budging. Um, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love how my skin feels afterwards. Smooth, just... Mm. But it's a winter product for me. I'm not keen on using it in the summer because I just am worried that I might, you know, I don't even go outside. <laughs> but I'm still like in my head, I'm like, yeah, but what if it burns my skin? You're not outside with, you can't get burnt. But anyway, you know what I mean. Um, so I need to repurchase this. I need a new one, but because I love it. Um, Pharmacy Whipped Greens Oil free foaming cleanser wasn't mad keen on this I was delighted to be able to try it because you know i love the um green clean cleansing balm. love it shocker i know um so i was excited to try this but i didn't love it i think so far my favorite has been the green clean i don't think any of the rest of it is worth the price tag so far in my opinion <clears throat> excuse me uh liqueur pineapple hot cloth cleanser Again, this is a product from Aldi, Lidl, whoever, and um, I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, 
I've went through a good few of these but I haven't seen them. It's the problem with skincare in Aldi is that once it's gone, it's gone. You know what I mean? It's it's it might be six months, it might be a year before it comes back, if ever, which is a pity. But um I keep my eye out of the hot cloth cleansers that they do the pineapple is my preferred which i was surprised by because i hate the smell of pineapple in products typically but it's very faint and very very nice very nice uh one of my favorite absolute favorite eye makeup remover the garnier express two in one um it's kind of a biphase one and it is just fantastic i have very sensitive eyes i have very watery eyes i use a lot of waterproof products so um it can be hard to get off and I don't like pulling and dragging at my old eyes. So this is phenomenal. I just literally squeeze it onto a reusable pad, stick it onto my eyeball, leave it there for a couple of seconds before I start moving it and most of nearly everything comes off and then the rest comes off with my um, balm cleanser and that. Um, yeah, uh, Garnier Anti-Age Super UV 50 SPF um, facial moisturizer i prefer the anti-dryness one to the anti-age the anti-age is okay but it pills a bit it's not great under makeup and it's not as hydrating the anti-dryness just i know i keep saying it but it leaves a lovely glow on the skin it's hydrating it's lovely it's this beauty under makeup it's a winner love it but i've used this up i won't buy that one again it'll be the anti-dryness i actually have one on the go I have two little lip balms. These are the Laneige lip balms and these were just gorgeous, but definitely the mint chalk one, absolute winner for me. Uh, and the lemon sorbet, really enjoyed that one too. I can't remember what scent this one is because it's, it's all written or it's moved off. Something sweet anyway, I can't remember. But the mint chalk one, adore it. Is this mint chalk? It is. Yeah, mint choco. And the lemon sorbet, absolute favourites, adore them. Uh, but they're not cruelty free, so mm, I can't avoid them. It makes me very sad. Ivy, AI, AI, I don't know. It's a face mist. I picked it up in France. I think it's a Swedish brand, maybe. Where are you from, lad? I can't read that. I'm not some young one of great eyesight that can be reading it. I don't know. I liked it. It was fine. Just a little travel size one. I picked it up when I was over because I needed something in the car to be missed. And um, yeah, it was nice. Um, Pharmacy Green Clean, a little mini. Love it. Um, this is it here, a little mini guy. I just This is my absolute favourite. Hands down. Still have not found a replacement for it. Love it. It's my absolute favourite. Uh, a little eye balm. Eye balm. Eye cream. Moisturising eye balm. <laughs> uh, by Belief. And... Um, there was a nice bit in this. I assume it was like a mini or a little travel size, but there was plenty considering it was an eye cream. Uh, very thin formula, nice and hydrating. Obviously, I don't believe that they do anything to the lines and stuff. That's just life, you know what I mean? No cream is going to get rid of those. But it did make it hydrated and not dry and look well, so. And it didn't give me any melia, melia, melia. You know, where you get little bumps in there because it's too rich. So it was nice, I liked it. Um, Alginist Blue Algae Vitamin C Dark Spot Correcting Peel. So this is like a face mask and um, it was fine. Didn't like the consistency because it's like a, a very thick gel. So it was very hard to apply it. You were really pulling at your skin trying to rub it in and things and kind of rub it around. Um, and I don't know that it did a whole lot. And this ain't cheap. Let me tell you, I think the full size, because this is obviously a, a travel or deluxe or whatever, I think it's like 80 euros or 90 euros for the full size. Definitely did not see anything in my skin that would warrant that price. And I got a lot of use out of this. To be fair, the small size, if you want to try it, I think I got about 10 uses out of this. Was, am I being excessive? No, I think I did, you know. Yeah. So you get a good lot out of this. So I'm sure the big size would last ages. But then it's vitamin C, so how long do you want it to last? I don't know, these are the deep questions that we ask in this channel, people. You know? Um, so yeah, no, won't be your person. Didn't see it do anything, but I was delighted to try it because I've heard great things about Alginist. It just wasn't for me. 
Uh, e.l.f. Matte Potty Primer, a little mini, I have a trio, I have the matte, the luminous and the regular. So this was the matte one, completely used up. It was fine. If you have oily skin, I think you might enjoy this, because it definitely does mattify, definitely. I just used it in the T-zone, which is where I use any of these potty primers, because that's, you know, where I have pores. And it does help, for me, fill them in a bit. Um, and you only need a little bit. I, I've seen some people applying this, and they're plastering it on and I'm like lads calm down calm down we're not filling cracks in the wall here it's just your skin let's take it back a notch um so you really only need a small amount you can just pat it in patting I think is better than rubbing for this kind of product and I definitely do notice the smoothing and and less visible pores and the matte one was just a tad matte for me um I don't have oily skin now during the summer I suppose it helped a little bit but it's just not for me. I prefer the regular one so far. I've yet to try the luminous one, but yeah, I've like got finished. Uh, a foundation finished. Woo -woo. The Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. Here it is here. And I know it doesn't look finished, but that is empty. It's just stuck to the side. You can't really get it off. I even tried to get a... One of them things. It's special. Um, and it doesn't come off the walls for whatever reason. It's like it's um, stained it or something. Uh, this is Hazelnut Beige. 036. Um, mattifying second skin effect. Yes, it is mattifying second skin effect. No, not unless your second skin is plastered makeup. <laughs> um, it is long lasting. Um, if you have oily skin again, I think you might enjoy this. Just for me and my mature combo dry kind of skin, not the most flattering. It was perfect for being on camera. Or if I really, if maybe nighttime wanted it to last. Um, but for everyday wear, I didn't find it very flattering. I hope that makes sense. So I feel like it is for oilier skin or maybe younger skin. In my humble opinion. Um, but yeah, it's finished and I'm thrilled. I had it in my graveyard to Project Pen. So it was, it took me from April to October to finish it. Um, mascaras, I have a couple, I have a, a lash primer, blah, 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 blah. Uh, this is the Luna Magic uh, Vava Pink Lash Primer Base, and this is very kindly sent to me by my lovely friend Deb, and um, I have to say it's the first lash primer that I found actually worked for me, which I was kind of blown away by, I didn't, I wasn't holding out much hope when I started using it, see it's pink, it's pink, it's very cool um but i've had it open since mm, april maybe maybe march i'm not quite i can't remember <laughs> so i think it's time to let it go but i did enjoy it and it is getting a bit dry and a bit more flaky and stuff so it's like okay time to go but yeah very enjoyable now having said that when you have it on it is hard to get off not gonna lie so my garnier um express eye makeup remover really had to sit for nearly 30 seconds to make sure that it all came off but it definitely worked now not to the point where i was like oh, i'm bambi you know there's only so much you can do with these stubby little lashes um but it did give them a bit more oomph so there's that uh two mascaras then i have the bad girl bang hated it it was awful disgusting didn't like it and it smudged thickened everywhere uh kind of a thin um, plastic bristle wand no thank you ma'am not for me and the cover girl lash blast volume um mascara it's fine it was grand you know i i've just spent so many years seeing uh emily emily noel go on about covergirl mascaras that i was like oh my god i can't wait to try them grand like but then again i should have known because she loves the e cosmetics superhero mascara and i went off and bought it didn't like it so why am i taking other recommendations on mascaras from somebody that loves a mascara i don't like i don't know i'm an idiot obviously um second to last item is the Juvia's Place I Sculpt Eyeshade Brow Pencil in Dark Brown. Completely done. It's a nice little skinny, um, you can't even see it, but it's a, a very skinny kind of pencil. Um, and I found it quite nice. It worked quite well for me. I got a lot of use out of this. I know Danny had one and she tore through it. She didn't get half the uses, but then again, Danny has thicker brows than me. I have little 
teeny tiny brows um so maybe that was it maybe she had to use more on each application maybe or something i don't know but i got a lot i got like something like i can't remember now 60 uses 50 uses i don't i got a lot of use out of it let's just leave it at that so that one is gone but i won't be reporting because juvis place are not on my buy list at the moment because of their carry-on cop on to yourselves brands cop on to yourselves dear lord every day there's a new brand acting the gobshite um the last item that i have is a lip liner and this is from the brand sosu which is an irish brand she's an irish influencer who started her own brand right at the start of influencers starting their own brands so she got in ahead of the curve in fairness to her um and it was a lip liner in the shade boy bye boy bye is right look at it oh did it he's all smile it's done it's gone it's finished yay et voila Stephanie, that is it. I'm all done. So, how are we getting on for the year today? So, this month I used up 31 items at a value of 249.91, so around 250 euros. Three hair care, 17 skin care, four body care, and seven makeup. I'm very happy with that. So, for the year to date, I have used 234 items at a value of 1846.84 very happy with that i think i'm doing okay what do you think look at start of the year i'm like yeah let's do penny red 5k <clears throat> who was i cotton oh i was so young and naive back then full of hope <laughs> um but if i hit two grand i'll be thrilled i will be faking thrilled and it's 234 items out of my collection so far to date so far to date Yeah, brain isn't brain isn't really functioning, guys. I have to be honest. Uh, but that is it for my empties for October. So we only have two more months to go in the year. So I'm just kind of focusing in now on items that are nearly there. Items that are like, okay, come on now, let's knuckle down and focus and get these last few out for the end of the year. Um, so hopefully I'll make my goals. If I had 250 items and two grand, that would be fantastic. I'd be really happy with that. Okay, that's it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will chat to you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Slum. So